meeting January 28th at 6.30 to 7.15. For Zoom information, contact uh, Caitlin or Crystal at family at rpcchurch.ca. Mom and baby group will be meeting on Tuesday from 11 to 1. More information, please contact the office. February 4th, preaching kickoff from 6.30 to 8.30. Holy. Temptation comes from Satan as he tries to get us to do wrong. Stand strong in the word of God and remember faith always overcomes fear. Hi, I'm Faith. And I'm Fear. And we're here to talk about... How do you do that? Do... what? Stay so composed. Why wouldn't I be? You never know when you might get hit by a runaway moped. Is that common? Or aren't you afraid of what happens when you die? Well, no. Not really. Oh, that's right. You believe you'll go to a place where there are gumdrop mountains and lollipop woods. You mean heaven? Yeah, with your chocolate swamps and your force made of peppermint. I think you're talking about Candyland. I love that game. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> Memory verse. Faith means being sure of the things we hope for. And faith means knowing that someone is real even if we do not see it. Hebrews 11, verse 1. Putty, today you have to go to the dentist. Did you prepare? No, why don't, why don't you like the dentist? You're scared of it? Why are you scared of the dentist? Oh, Putty says he doesn't like the dentist. Because he doesn't like it when people come into his mouth and do scary things with his teeth and he won't know what will happen. But Putty, you do know that the dentist is good for you, right? No, why not? It, after all, they help your teeth get better so you can eat lots of things. You see, Putty doesn't want to go to the dentist because he's scared. And being scared comes from fear. Fear is something that affects us in our everyday lives. We could be afraid of many things. We could be afraid of the dark. We could also be afraid of other things like bears. Or we could also be afraid of spiders. Or getting lost. You see, all of these things are reasonable because they're all fears. But with God's help, we don't have to fear. Because... Just like how you would go to the dentist, and you see how Putty is scared of the dentist, he gets a lollipop at the end. And when you are scared, sometimes you just have to face your fears and go after it anyways. Say there's a spider in your room. What's going to happen if you don't get rid of the spider? Maybe it's going to stay there and crawl around your room for a very long time. You wouldn't like that, would you? So, if you get rid of the spider, then it won't stay there in turn. This is how we can face our fears, because something good will always come out at the end of it. Hi guys, so we're going to hear a story today about the time after Jesus was baptized. So after Jesus was baptized, he had to decide the direction he wanted to go in his ministry. But during that time, Satan was going to try to tempt him. Satan was going to try to tempt him with pride, popularity, with power. But Jesus stood strong to the word and he withstood temptation. He was able to overcome that temptation. So we're going to hear a really cool story about that. Um, so stay tuned. Let's keep watching. Come and see. The Temptation of Jesus. This is Jesus, hey who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. Jesus was born in Bethlehem and grew up in Nazareth, where he grew in wisdom and favor with God and man. Oh, I see. Jesus was baptized by John, and God showed John that Jesus was his chosen one. Then Jesus was led by the Spirit into the wilderness among the wild animals. Oh, hey there, friend.
for 40 days and 40 nights, Jesus didn't eat anything. So he was hungry. Satan came to him and said, Hey, if you are the son of God, tell these stones to become bread. Jesus knew God's word, and so he answered, No, the word of God says people don't live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. And so Jesus passed the first test. <laughs> then Satan took him to Jerusalem and said, If you are the son of God, jump off. Aww. For the word of God says he will order his angels to protect you, and they will hold you up with their hands so you won't even hurt your foot on a stone. Wait. But Jesus said, the word of God also says you must not test the Lord your God. No. And so Jesus passed the second test. <laughs> so Satan took him to the peak of a high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and all their glory. Satan said, I will give it all to you if you kneel down and worship me. But Jesus said, Get out of here, Satan, for the word of God says you must worship the Lord your God and serve only him. <laughs> then Satan went away and angels came and took care of Jesus. And so Jesus passed the third and last test. God can handle the things we are afraid of. We can trust God to handle the things we are afraid of. If we trust God to handle the things we are afraid of, they don't have to be afraid anymore. Go grab your parents and answer these questions with us. Oh yeah! Who came to visit Jesus in the wilderness? When did the devil come to tempt Jesus? How did Jesus use the Bible to do the right thing? How can the Bible help us to make wise choices? Do you have any tips for memorizing Bible verses you can share? Hey boys and girls, so I hope you have been enjoying our story so far. Well, it's not really a story because it's a life lesson that we all need to learn. And as we saw in the Bible, when Jesus was in the wilderness, he was tempted. He came on this earth and he was tempted. And boys and girls, God has given us the Bible to help us go through the toughest situations in our life and even enjoy the good, the best situations that we have in life too. Boys and girls, God loves us so much and he wants us to remember that in everything that we do, that we need to put our trust in him. As we can see in the lesson today, we saw that faith overcome fear and we need to have faith in everything that we do. As a memory verse today, it says in, in Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1, it says, Faith means being sure of the things we hope for. And faith means knowing that something is real, even if we do not see it. Boys and girls, in the Bible, it says that we need to have faith as a mustard seed. And you know how small a mustard seed is? Very, very tiny. And boys and girls, God wants us to trust him in everything we do. We, as we go through this as we go through this whole COVID situation, I know some of us are very fearful in doing things, but God doesn't want us to have a spirit of fear. He wants us to have a spirit of faith and we'll do the things that He's called us to do and not stop it. Because boys and girls, in this world, people are continue doing the same things as they normally do. But as we go through life, I pray that you would understand that God doesn't want you to be fearful, but He wants you to have a spirit of faith. I mean, he also wants you to be strong in his word. He wants you to read his Bible and pray every day and understand what his calling is for your life. I pray that today, boys and girls, that you are not going to be living in fear anymore, but you would be living in faith, that you would step out, that you would come to church, that you would do whatever God has called you to tell others of who he is. Because like I've always said, there's one thing that we cannot do when we get to heaven, and that's tell others about Jesus. So boys and girls, don't stop. Don't stop telling others of who Jesus is. Don't stop doing the work of what God has called you to do. But be bold and be strong because the God that we serve is still alive. He's the same God yesterday, today, and forever. And he holds you in his hands and he's, he's gonna help you and he's gonna protect you, but you need to have faith. 
boys and girls, if there's anything in your life today that you say, Pastor Crystal, like, I'm afraid of this. Oh, I'm afraid of that. I'm afraid that I'm not going to be doing well in school. I'm afraid that uh, this cold, like, I'm going to get sick and I'm going to die. Well, boys and girls, today we are going to lay it to God. I remember growing up, one thing I was very, very fearful of was, was not knowing. Because I'm such a planner, I like to make sure I know what's going to happen next. And I remember when I was very young, I would, I would, I know that I wanted to play volleyball. I knew I wanted to go into university and play more volleyball and become who, and become very famous in volleyball. But God's plan was better. He took me out of that and he brought me to Canada where I, Became in, I came into ministry and I enjoyed it so much more. I was very fearful of not knowing what, what's going to happen when I came to Canada. But because I had faith and I knew what God was going to do in my life and I trusted Him, I stepped out and I came here. Well, boys and girls, God has the same thing for your life. He wants you to trust Him and He wants you to have faith in Him. So if today you want to have faith in Jesus and everything that you do, I want to close your eyes and bow your heads. Grab your mom or your dad or your grandma or your grandpa, whoever's around you, and let's pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you for today. I thank you, O oh God, that you're the same God yesterday, today, and forever. I thank you, O oh God, that nothing has changed, O oh God. But Father God, we put you first. And Father God, whatever fear we all have in our hearts, we give it to you. And we ask, oh God, that you would direct us and you would, you would take away that spirit of fear, but you would give us a spirit of faith. And help us, oh God, to be who you called us to be. Father, I thank you for each boy, each girl, each mom, each dad, each grandma, each grandpa, whoever is listening today, oh God. I pray, oh God, that you would help them through this fear. Father, because we, we know you are faithful. For those who are sick, I pray healing. For those that who need to hear your word, Father God, I just pray, oh God, that they, oh God, will come and hear your word and know, oh God, that you are God. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, boys and girls, hope to see you next week. And also remember, remember, take some time this week, read your Bible and pray, and, under, and pray that God will give you that faith to continue doing his work.